What's up? What's up, boss? Hey, Slim Thug, like a boss. You still talk like a boss. <laughs> of course. <laughs> What's That's going on? How, how you feeling, man? I'm good, man, actually. I feel like I'm back to normal now, so I'm happy about that. So how many days did that take for you to get to this point, to feel normal? Well, I haven't had no symptoms since, like, last week, so took me about a week, probably a little under a week, I would say. Hey, That's Slim great. Thug, We're so glad mind, you're feeling better. Take us back to day one, because um, I heard you say that you did everything thing right you stayed in the house you wore the gloves and the mask but you still got infected with the coronavirus take us back to when you first found out you had it. like what was the symptom that made you say let me get tested uh it was uh not last weekend but the weekend before i had felt i had a fever and i had a headache and a little shortness of breath and i was already you know what i'm saying looking for the symptoms you know because of you know i was already being cautious of you know trying not to get it or whatever but so when i found that immediately i told my sister you know set me up an appointment that my Monday morning, I took the test. It took 24 hours for my results to come back. And that's when I found out, you know what I'm saying, that I had it. So at that point, it was just like, wow. You know, you're just in shock at first. And then you do whatever you need to do to get over it fast. We're so glad that you're feeling better. Now, the test, I've seen different tests, like video of it, you know, swirling around the Internet. Did you get the one where they stick the, was it the Q-tip all the way, way, way back up there? No, nah, they didn't do it to me like that. I seen that, I did see that video, though. But no, nah, it wasn't Ooh. I actually posted um, me getting my test on Instagram when I took it, but um, it was just a swab of both nostrils for me, and uh, it was a little uncomfortable, but it wasn't as, as vicious as that was. I've seen that video. Yeah, that I know, scared that me was, a little. <laughs> it was like, whoa, it was way, way up there. So, uh, again, like Quick said, I'm so glad that you told everybody that because, I mean, people need to understand the seriousness. I mean, a lot of people wasn't taking it serious at all. Yeah, it's definitely serious. really like the, the biggest thing that we ever been through if you want to add up how many people lose in their life like you know what i'm saying it's really like the most craziest thing we've seen really so mm -hmm. it's definitely something to take serious you know what i'm saying and, and uh, uh you don't really have to have symptoms to have it you know what i'm saying that's another thing so you got to be careful out here mm -hmm. man just be you know be safe and try to avoid it hopefully this thing died down in a couple of weeks with them shutting everything down so yeah it's best to just chill until it's over thanks uh, if you're just tuning in we're talking to slim thug now can you reiterate just for anybody who's still potentially trying to go outside how important it is just to stay home during this quarantine because even though a lot of places have announced the quarantine it a lot of people are still just so anxious and they're just trying to rush to get back outside for yeah, a person that battled this what would slim thug say to them no, that's not a good idea it's dangerous like us like i say i was able to get over it luckily you know maybe because i caught the symptoms so fast and um started mm -hmm. taking medicine but like my homeboy scarface when it when it happened to him it made his kidneys feel you know and all kind of mm -hmm. stuff he had pneumonia a lot of people and the breathing they feel like they can't breathe and that's like the scariest thing in the world you know you can't mm -hmm. control your breathing so i definitely don't think it's some people want to play with you know what i'm saying you want to just try your best to avoid it because you probably can get over it too and you might spread it to somebody who can't get over it you know so right it's just you know it's just a good time to be careful right now man like I, the best thing to do is just stay at home and tell that tell that number to go down right now it's like a thousand bodies a day you know and mm -hmm. You don't want to be, you know, around none of that. So the smartest nope. thing to do is just wait till it's over. Stay in the house. So what are some things that you're getting into in the house? I know you're not just, just chilling as you recover. You just dropped a new project, Thug Life. You got the mm -hmm. video out here streaming crazy. So it's like are you just working in the crib as you get get over it because you said today you feel better. So uh, how have you been able to keep yourself busy uh, while being quarantined? Yeah, well, uh, that was set up already like before this. The project was, you know what I'm saying, the Thug Life South. Mm -hmm. With that dropping, I, I haven't been able to do nothing to really promote it by leaving the house. So I kind of just mm -hmm. been trying to be as creative as I can be, you know, from the crib and see what I can do to help promote it. And, uh, you know, making new music and, you know, DJing, you know, just having different playlists going, you know, just trying to, you know, find my vibe and just find peace in this little time. Do something that's going to set, me, uh, set mm -hmm. me up and put me in a better place. We all trying to find our vibe and find our peace, okay? Big facts. Right, exactly. Now, so Lead them playlists. That's that thing. Therapy. Now, Slim Thug, of course, uh, the Thug Life we're, we're, we're promoting right now. But um, for an artist like yourself,
yourself, you've been around for a very long time. You, like before the South was taken off, you were one of those first artists that I heard that was from the South that sound like the South. Um, how have you, I guess, able to still be relevant after all these years? I think that me being independent, it uh, it kept me closer to my real fan base. And you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. With that, I, you know, like I wasn't chart chasing or nothing. So I wasn't trying to sound like what's going on right now. You know, I was really just trying to stick to what I've been doing all these years. And when, you know, when I was able to do that, that kept me like, you know, consistently dropping music for my fans and they kept me doing shows, you know, whether it be around Texas or the South, you know, like, so I just really stayed engaged with the people who, you know, support me and they just been keeping me going all these years. Honestly, man, it's been, it been working for me. So I just keep it going. And not just an artist, you're also a very successful entrepreneur as well. Mm-hmm. Right. We do different stuff. I got a, a construction company out here, Boss mm-hmm. Life Construction. We got Boss Life Clothing, Boss Life Beer, everything. You know, we, we doing it all down here in Texas. Yeah, I was going to ask you about, about your black owned construction company. How has that been? Uh, how's Corona been affecting uh, some of your other businesses? I mean, well, you know, like, that's that's definitely, you know, at a how you know, all the businesses that everybody is losing right now. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. so it ain't missing nobody right now. But uh, at the end of the day, and I'm not even tripping on that. I'm just really trying to make it past the, the disaster of this, uh, this, you know, this virus or whatever. You know, we mm-hmm. get back to life. We'll be OK. You know what I'm saying? But I was like construction. You know, we do stuff in my and in, in low income, you know, in, in, in our old neighborhood, really acres home. We built like a whole 10, 10 house block. We gave away a house for the Hurricane Harvey victim mm-hmm. uh, yeah, the so. other year. You know, we, we gave away a whole house. So we just do like positive stuff in the community. But we're going to be all right. You know, we just really, really ready to get back to work. Yeah, I love your absolutely. energy, Slim Thug. I think, you know, for a person that's just, you know, getting over and continue battling this whole COVID-19 coronavirus, you still um, you, you still sound like you're just in a motivational mode in your life where you're trying to help others and inspire others just to stay prayed up and stay hopeful, man. We appreciate that's that. That's what it's about, man. You just really got to keep it moving, man. That's the uh, that's the key to everything, man. Just keep it moving, you know, stay work. So, yeah, you know, I'm going to yeah. just stay doing what I do. I ain't going to let this stop me. I'm just looking at it as a uh, L we got to take, like, car to catch flat. You know what I'm saying? It's just something you got to go through. So we'll all be okay. It ain't going to be too crazy for us. The big boss of the South, like a boss. That's still one of my favorite songs. <laughs> Absolutely. Anything uh, you want to say to the DMV, Slim Thug, while well, you got that ear real quick? Man, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on YouTube. Slim Thug, man. Stay tuned to what I got going on. We still working. You know, I know some people be looking for that old Texas sound. You know, it's still out yeah. there. Tune in. <laughs> Hey, Slim Thug, thank you so much. Real quick, before you go off the line, um, when you first, like, what happened to, like, everybody else? I mean, it, when you, it was Slim Thug, it was Paul Wall, it was Mike Jones. Um, They've been kind of quiet. You're still yeah. active, but I haven't heard from Mike Jones or Paul Wall in quite some time. Are they good? Well, Paul Wall, he, he active. He, he do a lot of stuff. Like, a lot of the stuff we do don't be leaving our little state or whatever. We like our own yeah. country town. But, you know, he's still doing this thing and, and doing good. Mike Jones, he dropped something last year. He had, I don't think he dropped nothing this year, but I seen him, um, I follow him on Instagram, you know, I don't see him a whole lot because he lives in Dallas, I think, now. But uh, he's still working, too, though, man. He, I, I be seeing him do it. We do a lot of shows and stuff together still to this day, so he's still working. We all still doing our thing. All right, Slim, well, though, we're not so going to hold you, man. Continue um, resting up and getting yourself back to 100%. I'm glad you're doing a lot better. Yes. Um, continue sending prayers your way and to everybody affected by this COVID-19 because it's definitely hit everybody in some way, shape, or form, brother. Yeah, we appreciate man, you. Appreciate Take care of yourself. Y'all be safe out there. All right, Slim Thug, be safe, bro. All right.